Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Kelly Boy. Bitch. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Kelly Boy. It's another episode of What's in Your Garage. My man has already beat me to the punchline as far as pulling his cars out, man. But let's go check him out and see what we got today for you. Big homie. What's up, man? See y'all here cleaning them up real good. Yep. <laughs> see you again, man. Oh, yeah, All right, so man. Good. So as you can see, the people are ready to see what you got because they've been asking for Cadillacs and rag houses. So here we go. Check out this hood. Cause I heard you got something underneath here. Just a little bit. A little something? <laughs> no, nothing too crazy, but. Oh, come on, man. A little LS. Very nice LS. Oh. That looks good up here, man. It's nice and detailed. Got the pulley work and everything, huh? Yeah, thanks. Still what, got a few uh, more things to do, but. What, uh, what, what, what size is this one? Like LS1, LS2? What, this is LS1, 5.3. 5.3. Okay, okay. So I heard it takes a lot of work to get these up in here, man. Yeah, uh, just between all the wire and the computer work, uh, fuel system. Mm -hmm. um, this one actually has the Corvette fuel system in it. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely not an easy task. Um, I mean, I didn't do it myself. It was uh, Brothers 4x4 that actually did it for me. Yeah. But I uh, actually tracked down all the parts as far as wiring, harness, engine, and everything. But definitely, I can tell you it was a, it was a project in itself. <laughs> About how long did it take for this right here to get done for you? The motor? Yeah. Uh, the motor took probably about three months, but you know, keep in mind they weren't working on it just nonstop between trying to order the parts and um, making sure that we were getting all the right stuff, like the fuel injectors that we wanted to run, because the fuel injectors are actually off of LS7. Nice. 
I already heard it running too, man. It sounds good. Yeah. So this one here, you you pretty much I you pretty much built this one up, right? You got it for like pretty much stock, or how did you get this one? Actually, when I got this one, this one was actually all torn to pieces. The whole entire car was just tore. I mean, just tore to pieces. I have actually a before and after on my Instagram. Yeah. And I mean, the whole car was really just in pieces. Um, it was like a, the original paint was almost like color sanded, needed to be repainted. Um, the interior used to be dark blue. Um, you know, it was the original Cadillac interior. Actually, it had a, uh, at one point it had a, whoever had the car before me, mm -hmm. um, I actually got the car from a friend of mine, Ruben, who had got it from uh, somebody that lives up the hill, um, up in Hesperia. And uh, he had actually got the car, it had a 454 in it. This had a 454 it had in it? a 454 in it. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was one thing when I got the car, I, I didn't like the 454. Uh -huh. And I go, you know what? I, I need to do something different. And I go, you know what? I, I could do a 350, but I go, you know, this is probably just about my chance to finally do an LS. Right, right, right. Because I'd always wanted an LS. And as you know, caddies, to me, caddies, uh, either the Lincolns or the caddies have the best ride for the low riders. Exactly. And nothing like that good mix between having a Cadillac with the LS in it. <laughs> Especially not having to pat that gas with that carburetor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things that once you go on fuel injection, it's almost like you can't go back to car. I know that's right, because I know you pretty much have fuel injection on on both of them. Yeah, the rag has fuel injection too. So pretty much, I guess that's pretty much a, a no-brainer as to my next question is which one do you like better, carburetor or fuel injection? Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the okay. rag was the first fuel injection car, and that's where it. That's kind of where it started. Yeah, uh, and the rag's a tune port fuel injection, but I mean once. Like I said, again, once you go fuel injection, it's almost, you can't even, you can't do a carburetor. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. So, uh, cause I know these grills are hard to get on these, but uh, you already had this, did it come with it? No, actually uh, I tracked it down and I found it uh, brand new in the box. Uh, I had it, actually I found somebody in Florida cause I got a pretty good price on it. Uh, I actually what? found it on eBay. Wow, yeah, cause I know those are getting real hard to, uh, to get these days. Yeah, oh yeah. So explain to us on this one, is this a full frame, partial frame? Uh, actually, just partial. Just partial, uh, nicely yeah, painted never up. Never pulled the frame off. Really? Yeah, never. Pulled Man, the as frame clean off. as this thing is, I thought I just knew it was gonna be frame off. Oh no, no. Wow, good, good combo with the chrome and gold, the tan. So, I, uh, you, uh, you came with this color as far as getting it done, this, or because I know you said it needed paint and so forth. Or... Yeah, the the previous color was actually somewhat. It was a darker blue. So this is a, it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. But once I once I got the car from uh, my friend, I had already had kind of a set vision on the direction I wanted to go with it, uh -huh. and it was this blue with like a tan. Uh, so I had a friend of mine that actually uh, ended up painting it for me, and um, I mean I'll tell you in a lot of ways I've had some headaches, but I've lucked out in a lot of ways because <laughs> when the guy that painted it for me, and I'm not kidding, paint and body, took the doors off, everything on it, had it done in two weeks. Two they, had, they got this painting in two weeks? Yeah. And that yeah, I'm going to his number. Yeah. That, <laughs> was, <laughs> that was a, a two week turnaround, but that was with doing the paint body work, sending it to Mike Lamberson to do the pinstriping, uh -huh. and then sending it back to them for them to clear it again. So, it, two weeks, not kidding. Wow. It's quickest I've ever seen out of any car I've done, quickest turnaround on paint. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever, ever seen something that fast. Explain to me about the uh, the interior on this here. Who who did the interior? Because so man, the interior um, to me no other than California upholstery. Um, originally, um, the plan for this car for the interior was supposed to go with the standard pillow top, but this color, same color. Right, right. Um, when I took it down to California, um, went to go talk to Joe, told him what I wanted to do, and. Um, Joe actually gave the idea to do this interior. Yeah, he's he got looked, good ideas. And he looked at the car and he goes, you know, he goes, you want to do pillow tops? And I go, yeah. Um, Joe said, you know what? He goes, I got an idea. Let's do something different. And, um, you know, this is what he came up with. And this is actually a newer Cadillac design is what this is. So the stock seats, but it's a newer Cadillac design. Kind of like an Escalade, huh? Uh, CTS. CTS, okay, I can see it now. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure at first, but you know, Joe's never disappointed me before. He hasn't disappointed and, anybody, I don't think. No. And when I, <laughs> when, when I picked it up, but it was... 
So did this one already have the sunroof on it? Or when you... I got the car, it had the sunroof. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, 44. Yeah, because I know people are going to ask, what size was that? Okay, so y'all heard them. It was a 44. Nice. Very clean setup. So explain to us what, uh, what what we got going on here. Well, here's what we got. Uh, Hoppo's setup. Um, Hoppo's actually is the one that originally cut this car. Okay. Um, you can see I got four 8-inch DC audios um, with two ARC audio amps, um, six Odyssey batteries. Um, you see it's hard-lined. Just something, and again, when I was doing this car, I didn't want to go anything that was like too extreme. The intent was really not to panel out the trunk. Just like even under the motor, not really have a whole lot of chrome or anything. Just keep it clean, but kind of simple. And I was really just trying to do something where it's kind of like an old school but classy look too to it. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, you definitely can't beat, you know, the, the traditional batteries to the side pumps in the middle look. Man, that looks good. Custom box? Oh, yeah, custom box. Um, actually done by uh, Chad from No Limits. Um, no Limits uh, Car Audio. Um, he's done several cars for me. Guy does awesome work. Awesome work. So I noticed something else here. This was molded. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, that looks good. Yeah, hood and trunk are both molded. Oh, oh, the the, the hood was. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah hood is molded. I didn't even look up over there. I'm gonna have to go get that again. Okay. He said this one does have a undercarriage on it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she looks good. So now looking down here, this reminds me of my next question. 520s or radials? Which ones do you prefer? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the looks, hands down, 520s. All day. I mean, all, all day. Um, I mean, I think, I'm not gonna get into a big old thing, but I think everybody all knows the issues that people are facing with, with the 520s. 520s. Right. Um, I mean, so the look in itself, I mean, you can't go wrong. You know, you go with the radials. The radials, though, I mean, in a heartbeat, you can hit the freeway, do 100 plus. Yeah. Um, the five twenties, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, a little iffy, they look, but they look, they look good. Iffy about that, but they look good. Yeah, they look good. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can't beat that. So, what, what year is this Cadillac? It's Eighty-five. Okay. Now, I've always known about the Cadillacs. I just recently started getting into them because everybody's biggest thing is this back window. They like the little back window on these. So this would be the Fleetwood, this right? This would be the Fleetwood because the okay. ones with the larger back windows, it's actually, that's the Coupe de Ville. The, the ones with the larger side window. Gotcha. But yeah, this is a Fleetwood. Okay, okay. Definitely can't beat that. Man, she is awesome. Oh, let me get that hood before you close it up. Wow, okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, she's snappy too. Yeah, a little bit. Now I know something that a lot of times these guys ask, they want to know, do you know what size gears and everything that you're running in there? It's 11s. 11s, front right and in rear? Front and the rear, yeah, 11s. Okay. You know you, you know about how many batteries you're running all eight to the front, all eight to the back, or? Six. Six, six, um, okay. Yeah, six to the front, six to the back. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, let me get it in detail real quick. Man, you keep her super clean. You take care of your stuff, don't you, boy? That's what I'm talking about. I try. <laughs> That's how it should be, man. You'd be surprised. Man. You even got the gold springs. kind of the intent just to kind of get hints of gold here and there right you want to go too much blue bushings man you went all out man 
Oh, everything that I can yeah. replace. I mean, as far as from bushings, everything, suspension. Yeah. Man, she's beautiful. Who did the pinstriping on this? Mike Lamerson. Mike Lamerson did? Yeah. Okay. That's something I didn't get. Speaker pods. <laughs> and of course, you're representing Style CC. Yep, Style Park. Little mic on there if y'all can see it. Is the door open? Oh no. Yeah, oh yeah. Open up, get it in detail in there. Man, you got all the bells and whistles intact, got the lights working. I know that doesn't work for everybody. Go switches. You already had it. The, the steering wheel was hard to find because I've been hearing rumors about these Nardis getting hard to find. Uh, Nardi too. I ended up, it, uh, I had it uh, shipped in, found it on eBay. <laughs> Same thing with the shifter, the Nardi shifter, and found a lot of stuff on eBay. You're a lucky man because I've, I've been hearing rumors. Stuff's not easy to find no more. Other people's looking for it these days. Who did all your stereo stuff, like the little pods and so forth? Uh, same person, uh, No Limits, uh, Chad with No Limits. Okay. Man, everything here is nice. Nicely stitched up and everything, man. Nice headliner. So you got like the, the newer Cadillac feel in that too with a little perforated uh, suede? Yep. yep. Yeah. And again, I got to give that all to Joe there. <laughs> Still got the badges intact. And Joe's doing this thing, man. A lot of people's been using them in my videos. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's go over and talk about this uh this rag house we got here. And uh ironically, you was actually my very first DVD, Palm Trees and Switches. Um, you remember that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Palm Trees and Switches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might flash a little bit of, a little bit of that up in here. So how's this been treating you, man? You've had this for a good little minute now. Yeah, it's kind of been uh, uh, kind of in hiding right now. You know, it's, uh, I, I think it's been uh, it's been neglected a little bit. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe from not driving it, but <laughs> it, it's, been, it's been neglected a little bit. So, man, Mike Lamson did this one too. Mike, of course. Yeah. Uh huh. Man, that one still looks good too, man. Still one of my favorite rag houses right here. Thanks. You know, I just realized that your door handles are shaved. Yep. Have they always been shaved? Oh yeah. Guess the lines kind of fooled me there. Yeah, door handles shaved. Yeah, they've always been shaved. So we got on this one here too, another partial wrap? Yep. Oh yeah. I love those arms. And a full motor like that. And what year is this one? 75. How long have you had this one? This one now? Oh, man. You know, I'll tell you, it has to be probably a good, I almost want to say, I'm not kidding, maybe, maybe seven years, maybe, about that, or give or take. Yeah. Or, yeah, I, I kind of lose track of time. <laughs> right, it goes by fast these days. That's for sure. So you did this one, uh, you pretty much built this one from head to toe or you got this one already halfway done or what yeah. was the status on this one? This one, when I originally got this car, uh, primarily the main thing that was done was it was, uh, I had got it, basically it was painted, okay? Mm. Um, and then from that point, it was painted, no glass, no interior, um, really nothing from that point. Um, you know, I will say though, uh, on the uh, motor side of it, um, I guess say my uh, my boy or who I look at is my brother too. Um, boxer did the motor boxer. on this one. Yeah, yeah, yep. 
so. 11 bucks right here, man. Did this video not too long ago, they loving them. Yeah. <laughs> so let's check out the motor on this one, because I know you, uh, we got a little something, something underneath this one too. Yeah, and originally on this one, Boxer did the block side. Oh, yeah, Boxer did the block side when it was initially carbureted. And then when we went in to go ahead and do uh, the fuel injection, um, we kept the same block, but ended up having still Brothers 4x4 did the conversion for the fuel injection for me for uh, to turn to, turn, to uh, tune for it. Brothers 4x4 did that? They, they helped out with this? Yep. Ah, I mean, yeah. I guess yeah. they would know they stuff, huh? Again, I bought all the parts, bought the tune port, sent it in to get chromed, and did everything from that side of it, and then they did the mechanical work on it. Save the firewall. I still love these motors, man. That's still one of the best looking motors. You go fuel inject it? Oh, yeah. So with this motor, I mean, because I know there's going to be somebody that's going to ask, what type of motor is this? What type of car is this motor out of? Or familiar so, year? So the thing is, is that this block, the bottom end, it's actually the original 400 small block that came in this car. Okay, you okay. see the top end? But the top end, yeah, so it's the original 400 small block that came with the car. Uh -huh. But the top end is actually out of a 91 Corvette. Two port injection out of a 91 Corvette. Right, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Man, I'm still, I'm loving these arms. Who did these arms for you? Do you remember? Um, I think most of them was sick. You know what? It was actually uh, Southside Customs that did it. Yeah, and it's like some Southside work. Yeah, <laughs> Southside Customs did them. Hoppo's on the hydraulic system on this one. Yeah. Nice little pulley system, man. Looking good. Nice and chrome, man. You keep your stuff nice and clean, man. I love it. Try to. Like I said, this one is quite a bit dirty. But... <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to tell, man. That's our little secret. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, with this dash, with the sun being out, does it bother you while you drive? Does it, does it glare in the windshield? You know what? It's uh, I've had several cars already with molded dashes. Uh -huh. So it's kind of one of those things that you just kind of get used to. And you become numb to it, so it really doesn't even phase you. Right, right. Always wonder about that. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's just something that you kind of adapt to. Uh -huh. And it, after a while, it doesn't even phase you. Super clean. Nice and straight. About how long it take for paint and body on this one? Do you remember? This car... keep in mind it was in the paint shop before I got it mm. and when I got when I got my hands on the car it was literally just painted but it was probably in the shop for about five years Wow. yeah probably in the shop for about five years still one of my favorites right here Okay, so you got the digital dash and everything on this one, huh? Yeah, Dakota Digital. And then, um, you know, same thing to uh, Joe at California. Again, did the interior. Mm -hmm. um, so he did the interior on this one. And the top. Man, nicely done. Every little thing is done in this one. I heard parts on these is hard to get nowadays, too. Actually, both cars. This yeah, car I bet. <laughs> you got some. You got some hard, cars. some hard cars to get parts for, man. Yeah, I will say the Cadillac is. Um, you know, I have a friend of mine, uh, Johnny, who mm -hmm. has a big body Cadillac. Uh, most know him. Um, a lot of folks know him, but uh, Johnny told me when I first got the Cadillac, he goes, "Hey, you're going to learn. You're going to learn. Cadillacs are harder to build than Impalas, but people don't know." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did a Cadillac. I can tell you. Yeah. Until you get one, then you realize it's just. Uh, and Paul is probably a cakewalk compared to a cakewalk. Exactly. So on these, because I know somebody's going to ask, what type of rear end is this? Uh, actually, this rear end is actually out of a 70s Monte Carlo. Like 70s Monte Carlo? 74, within the 74, 75 uh, Chevy Monte Carlo rear end. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, for those, for those who know, I mean, on the glass houses, um, rag house, glass house. The stock rear end, usually you have trouble uh, putting the 13s on and fitting the skirts on it. Right. Um, 
so originally I actually when I first swapped out the rear end I had the caddy's rear end okay um, because it's a shorter rear end it allowed me to have the skirts mm. um, but I ended up finding I discovered and just from talking to different people here and there um, that apparently the Monte Carlo rear end is identical to the glass house rear end because um, the main concern, I think, with those is really the pivot position. Right, right, right. Because what happens, you put the Cadillac rear end on these cars, and then when you go to lay it, you can't drive laid because of the way the pivot position sets. Right. So that was, a, that was a problem that a lot of people were running into. The Monte Carlo rear end has the same pivot position as the stock glass house rear end, and it's shorter. Mm. So I can actually drive this car, have it laid, and drive it now without worrying about it hitting the tunnel at the bottom. Okay, yeah, because I've definitely seen you driving late before. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so for those of y'all asking, this is the type of rear end he's going to have. This is just still a Cadillac rear end here? Or? Yeah, that's actually just a stock, stock Cadillac rear end. Um, you know, obviously that one's reinforced. Mm. So tell us here on the, on the rag house, think this is something that you want to sell, something you want to keep? Because I know somebody's going to be in the comments like, what, what's up with that rag? Uh, actually, it's funny you ask because it, it's a... Uh got a couple things I'm gonna do and then I'm uh, actually gonna get ready to probably put it up for sale soon okay okay so, you know kind of still kicking around but looks like it is gonna end up going up for sale um, I've uh, kind of had my time and I think I want to get ready to put it out there I know that's right my man so it will it will be a uh, probably here in the next few months actually um, I'll probably get around to putting it up for sale all right well, we'll be waiting <laughs> I'm sure there's already going to be somebody that's going to be hitting me up about it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be talking to you to post it anyway. <laughs> <My> <laughs> you man. already know. You should know. I'll be reaching out to you to get it posted anyway. So, so as that time comes, yeah.
detail lah, yo. <laughs> Those are just four four eights, right? Four eights, yeah, four eights. But those are the that's that that's the one with the real big magnets, huh? Yeah, the DC audio. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. The magnets almost the size of the speaker about. <laughs> yeah. Those things are knocking, man. I think I had I think that's what I had in the truck was like four eights. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Got the Denali truck for him. <laughs> You want to open up the trunk while they're playing? I can get that. Mm -hmm. So you want to open up the trunk while they're... Oh, you probably can, huh? So, uh, do you have like anyone you want to say special thanks to? Any shout outs or anything? Yeah, just uh, several people that have helped with this uh, this specific build. Um, you know, definitely uh, shout out California Upholstery. Um, I'll say uh, my boy Johnny on Instagram, SS95Blues, is uh, on this one here in the Cadillac game. He uh, really helped me along the way. And I know um, it was uh, with his help that helped me prevent, it helped prevent me from making a lot of mistakes. Um, you know, uh, other than that, I think I said uh, Chad from No Limits um, and um, my wife, um, although I know she, uh, she uh, you know, she's not a, a, a big fan of my hobby. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's however, all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, she does, she does and has supported me on it over the years. So uh, thank you. And uh, I love her and my kids very much. My man, well, I appreciate the time, man. Uh... You know, I, I also definitely appreciate you letting me come out and film you, my man. Let's it, go it, and start with that. It, it, anytime, you already know. You know, you, Kelly, you already know. Anytime, you, know what's up, you already know. Thank you for coming out, too. All day, my man. I'm glad we were able to talk about her vice and her evils. There's a more important one that I'd like to discuss. She's running a Cadillac, y'all. <laughs> I think y'all can ride.